sounds like uh, the, the sort of reaction that should come and the sort of beginning that's sort of un, that's familiar, but that maybe we have a lot less here to worry about. It would appear at, at this point in the reporting than, than, than maybe it appeared. Th this began about 50 minutes ago with one person with one report of what sounded like shots fired. And I'm, I want to be clear about that because the report was not, I saw somebody shooting a gun into the air, as you might have heard just a short time ago. That was not the report. The report was, I heard something that sounded like three shots. This was not a call to police, but a post on Facebook. And after that post on Facebook, law enforcement responded, as law enforcement would, to a Naval Medical Center in San Diego, where they told people to shelter in place because of a possible, and I repeat, possible active shooter uh, situation. According to a witness statement from the U.S. Navy, a single witness reported hearing three gunshots in the basement of Building 26 about 8 o'clock this morning, which would be about an hour and 23 minutes ago. The building is a combination gym and barracks at the medical center. Now, the first responders and the Navy units with dogs were searching this building number 26. The medical center was locked down. All people ordered to shelter in place. Now, all of this that you've been hearing from Captain Nash and the rest about run if you can, hide if as a second best, and fight as a last resort, that isn't something specific to today's incident. That's something that sort of has become the norm in an active shooter situation. The advisory to everyone, given what's happened in Washington and, and beyond, is if you find yourself in this position of an active shooter situation, the first thing you do is run away. If you can't run away for whatever reason, you hide. And if for whatever reason you can't hide, you stay and fight. So that's the advisory that's gone out. That is not to say that there has been a shooting. In fact, there is no information from any witness anywhere of a shooting at this facility. There have been no witnesses who suggested they saw, saw any gun, anyone with a gun, anyone running. There have been no reports of anything being shot. Uh, the, the suggestion was there might have been shots into the air. There are no reports of any buildings or ceilings with shots in them. There are no reports of anyone wounded. Police have not encountered anyone who might have seen a gunman. In fact, what it's beginning to sound like is somebody, maybe on two different floors, heard three very big and disturbing noises. And they heard those big and disturbing noises in a place that is a naval medical center. Now, that would lead one to be afraid. This one person posted on Facebook, active shooter, uh, their shots were fired, and, and away we go. And now, because of the time and place that we are in America, uh, people ran and people became afraid. Authorities acted and reacted in the way that authorities would and should. You cannot take a chance in a matter like this. Given recent history in the United States, when there are reports of something like this, first responders must respond. It's what they do. People who are in charge of such facilities must tell people, these are the warnings that we've been told to give you under certain situations. None of this is to say that anything has happened. Now all of the three major cable news networks have followed it because we've gotten official information from the authorities that indeed there are reports of shots fired. And then what happens behind the scenes is all of us who are in the news information gathering, uh, dissecting and dissemination business begin making phone calls and putting all the facts together. It's, it's, it's as if we've taken a here are the things that sound bad list and put it on one whiteboard and here are the things that make us think, well, maybe this is not so bad and put them on another board. We now have a lot of things that suggest to us maybe nothing has happened and only one thing that suggests to us maybe something did. And the one thing is one witness on one Facebook report who did not see a shooter, did not see a gun, did not see holes in a wall, but heard three loud noises that sounded to the, quote, witness, unquote, like something of shooting. Given all of this information, the passing now of one hour since authorities arrived, the passing of one and one half hour since the initial report, and the finding of nothing suspicious, nothing untoward, nothing that su suggests that people should be afraid or concerned in any way, except for the fact that all of this activity has surrounded it, suggests to me that, and, I, and I'm li living on the hopeful side now, that nothing has happened. Uh, normally, an hour after something like this, where there are military personnel, law enforcement officials on site, weapons or no weapons, that is an aside, and you've heard a report but then found nothing, that suggests to us that at least for this moment, 
At this period in our reporting, we can tell you we have no information of anyone wounded. No hospitals have suggested that anyone have come there, has come there. There are no physical indications that any shots have actually been fired. No one has seen a gun or a gun person. Uh, and no one, not a single person, has reported, I saw a person with a gun. Not even that one was fired, less than that. No one has even reported that I've found a gun. So it is altogether right and proper that after a report like this, police would act, medical personnel would act, people would be put on lockdown, schools would be put on lockdown, and all of those things that happen, should happen, have happened. Is it possible that what we're in the middle of now is a situation where there was a report, we have what amounts to a drill, everyone acted in the way that he or she should, and now we realize, at least of the reporting at this moment, 9.28 a.m., one and one half, half hours after the report in San Diego, it appears at this moment, despite all the law enforcement officials, all the cable news activity and the alerts online, that at least of this moment, nothing has happened.